Project Millie Falcon presents OCD, Oil Changing Directions for Ladies. Before we begin, let's go over some of the terms used in this video, as well as the tools required to successfully change your oil. Who? Prehistorically old oil is what you will be replacing today. The plop, or the precariously located oil pan, is where the poo resides. A lulz is a long oil level stick used to check the amount of oil in the plop. There's a few things you're going to need. A clean fart, otherwise known as a fluid acceptance receiver tunnel. Gloves. Rags. A large tooth. A totally old oil tub. Several quarts of oil. Consult your owner's manual to determine the amount of oil needed, as well as the oil weight required. Whatever that is. Finally, an oil filter. Buy the most expensive one. It has to be good, right? Let's get started! Woo! Locate and remove the 710 cap. Just stick it somewhere. Next, you need to open the toot valve. Be careful, it can be slippery. Gently aim your toot under the plop plug. That should do it! With the socket wrench, loosen and remove the plop plug. This will unleash the poo. It may take a while for the plop to empty. Keep an eye on the toot to ensure it doesn't overflow. Give the car a gentle shake. This helps evacuate any residual poo from the plop. <laughs> now that the poo is drained, carefully clean the plop plug and tighten it in place. It's time to remove the old oil filter. Climb up there and loosen it up. Be careful though because it's slippery and full of poo. You don't want to drop it. <sighs> now that you've dropped the oil filter, climb under the car to retrieve it. Allow the poo in the old oil filter to drain into the toot. Grab your new oil filter. Before installing it, you must lubricate the gasket. You should have used new oil to do this, but you felt a poo transplant would add some beneficial fauna to the new oil. Time to install the new filter. Crawl back up there. Use two hands. Maybe you won't drop it this time. Because you know it's less slippery and it doesn't have poo in it. Never mind. Retrieve the filter. Try a new angle. Make sure that filter is hand tight. Way to go! Time to place the fart and commence lubricatory transmission. Grab a rag and clean the fart for future use. Replace the 710 cap and turn it till it clicks. Now crank the engine. Nothing exploded! Way to go! Check your lols to ensure that your oil is in range. Looking good. You're a pro. Reset your mileometer to mark this momentous occasion. Now you just need to clean up. But one question remains. What do you do with a toot full of poo? Well, you're a smart, discreet, and creative lady. You'll find some way to dispose of the poo without anyone noticing. State and local regulations may vary. 